Two weeks before school, Amanda got us all on Zoom and said, hey, this is what we're expecting to happen because they had ordered masks from New Mexico or one of the professors down there, he had done like all the research and he was like, these are the best type of masks to be wearing and he was he's producing them. But he is really backed up because he's got all the flutes throughout the United States and so Amanda had said like, I don't know what we're gonna do until then and I had offered up the option of like, hey, I sew. So the masks uh, kind of started on a YouTube video with a pattern and so there are three layers. The first two are sewn together and there's a little hole like right here where you can stick the flute head join in and like blow across. And then on the outer layer there's like a slit right here where you stick like the whole part in and it goes in again so there's not any actual open area. And then there's like, I have paracord and we just tied them, we just tie them around our heads with paracord and you just kind of like stick your flute in and like go with it. The flute's kind of unique because it comes from the side, it's the only instrument like that. The other sections really um, aren't struggling as much with like disposable masks and they cut like a little slit like right here. Uh, you'll see that a lot. Um, or like the saxophones kind of cut a hole or the oboes and they all have their own like methods but they can still get away with like cutting a hole in the mask and just putting their instrument in the hole. Instead of us being crammed into K136 as a big group, we're kind of separated into like six or eight, six to ten to twelve groups of like seven. Mm -hmm. And he's picked out small chamber pieces for us to play like that with our masks and socially distanced. And then we kind of flip back and forth between K136 and KFAC. And we do three groups of rehearsal per se. So Dr. CP will go through like a rehearsal time, but then it'll be split into three groups playing. So like one group will be in K136 and then like the next group will go in KFAC to allow for the air out times. And then the next group will go back into K136. So when I was a little kid, we, my mom had always told us like band stories and then like that was like my thing. I was like, I want to do band when I grow up. And so when it finally came time for me to come to band, I was sick for the day we did brass because I actually wanted to play tuba. and. I missed brass day and so then I kind of just like went through all the instruments and everybody was doing clarinet and our options were like clarinet, saxophone, flute, or what else do we have? I think that was really it for like wind instruments when we were in like fourth grade and so I said I don't want to play any of these I'll just play the flute because I was the only one who, who was like playing it and that was that was my decision and here I am. I think getting back onto campus it was a little weird like us together at once. We kind of came in knowing, like expecting, because they, our professors, like, they did a really good job of preparing us as to what we were going to expect. And so, like, getting back into rehearsal, it's definitely not like, oh, we're back to normal, because we're not. It's not a normal situation. We're, like, split up into groups and stuff, but it's still, like, the same skills we're learning. We've grown a lot more. Seeing myself as from my sophomore year to, like, now, I really enjoy Dr. C.P. a lot and, like, his styles of teaching and how we're, like, going through more challenging music and, like, a quicker time and how he's trying to prepare us for when we're professionals. Thank you.